Uh, well, this is me. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> hey, thanks for walking home with me, by the way. You really didn't have to. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm your best friend, Mackenzie, and you missed your bus. What am I gonna do, just let you walk home on a miserable day like today by yourself? Please. Well, honestly, speaking about miserable day, it honestly looks like it's about to pour down with rain. Do you want to come in for like 20 minutes just till the storm passes? Oh, well, yeah, I, I'd prefer not to get wet, but only if you don't mind. I don't want to impose. Of course not. It's the least I could do. Here. Please, go on in. <sighs> Thanks, Mackenzie. Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't know anyone else was going to be home. Oh, that's quite all right, dear. You must be Mackenzie's friend. Oh, yes. My name's Lily. Like the flower. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Likewise. I'm Mackenzie's grandma, and everyone just calls me Granny at this point. <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, well, when you've been around as long as I have, you're kind of grandma to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Hey, Granny. Oh, Mackenzie, hello, dear. I've met your lovely friend Lily here. Mackenzie, your grandma is adorable. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Grandma, are you okay? You don't have the fireplace on. You're not cold, are you? Oh, I couldn't get that darn thing to work. I've been sitting here freezing my paws off. The only thing that's been keeping me warm is a nice cup of coffee. Oh, that's weird. Isn't Mom home? No, I haven't seen her since this morning. I'm guessing she has a long shift at the hospital tonight. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go get you a blanket and you wait here with Lily. Is that alright, Lily? Yeah, it's no problem. Awesome, thanks. I'll be like one minute. So, Granny, what you watching on TV? Anything interesting? Oh, I was watching some paranormal stories. It's pretty interesting stuff, but I'm not too sure what's on right now. What? You love LPS, but you still don't have the Amino app? Girl, you crazy. The Amino app is a great place for all fandoms to unite, and that includes Lilith's Pet Shop. And if you haven't heard, Amino now has a stories feature where you can share short videos with other users. You can also interact on these videos by liking and commenting, and you can even follow creators on there. I don't know about you, but I have been obsessed with watching these short stories on Amino because they're so simple, like it's right there on your phone, and they're so easy to find. Just simply go to the discovery page on the Amino app and you will see all the latest stories. You can also search for a specific topic like Lilla's Pet Shop to see all the related stories. And you can also search for users as well. So you know what that means, don't you? Head over to the Amino app and give your girl a follow. My username is LPS Honey, and there'll be a link in the description down below where you can go download Amino. I've actually started posting exclusive stories over on the Amino app, so you won't be able to find them anywhere else. My most recent story actually has a horror twist to it, so make sure you come over, click that link in the description, and check it out. Thank you to Amino for sponsoring this video, and I hope to see you guys there. Huh. <sighs> I'm not very savvy with apps, but that looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, I have the Amino app on my phone. It's super fun. I'm sure Mackenzie wouldn't mind helping you set it up on your phone. But anyway, you said you were watching paranormal stuff, didn't you? Do you mind me asking what kind of stuff? I gotta admit, I'm super into paranormal stuff. Oh, uh, well, have you heard of skinwalkers? Uh, skin what? Skinwalkers. They're mythical creatures. To be honest, you may have already had a run-in with one and not even known it. They take form of whoever they want and disguise themselves. I had a run-in with a skinwalker when I was about your age. Whoa, really? Uh, if it's not too much to ask, I'd love to hear the story. Well, I have to warn you, it doesn't have a very happy ending. Granny, are you telling ghost stories again? I don't want you scaring our guest. Oh, don't worry about me. I love this kind of stuff. 
She was actually about to tell me about skinwalkers. I've never heard of them before. I'm all ears. Hmm, skinwalkers, eh? She used to tell me about skinwalkers all the time. I think it was just to scare me, hmm? I'd never scare you on purpose, dear. And plus, this is a true story. Somebody has to tell it. Yeah, exactly, Mackenzie. Somebody has to tell it. If your granny doesn't, who will? Oh, I don't know. The paranormal TV shows that profit off this kind of stuff? Oh, come on. Don't be a party pooper. I really want to hear the story. Fine, fine. I'm not going to get in the way of this little story session. <sighs> I'll go make us some tea, okay? Put your blanket on, granny. I don't want you catching a cold. Okay, is everyone comfortable and ready? Oh yeah, I am so ready. Thanks for the tea, by the way, Mackenzie. It is so delicious. Yeah, no problem. We're ready when you are, Granny. Okay, well, to be honest, it started on a rainy afternoon, much like this one, many, many years ago. I was 18, and it was the 60s. To be honest, Back then, I didn't believe in the supernatural. That was until that night. <sighs> Zoe, um, yeah? I don't know about you, but I'm really nervous. I've never liked haunted houses, and it's just freaking me out. The whole experience. <laughs> Emily, you're my cousin. I'm not going to let anything happen to you, okay? You're literally meant to get scared at these ghost houses. That's the whole point. You just gotta relax and enjoy the fun, okay? I know, I know. I just have a really bad feeling. Kind of in my bones. Is that the right expression? I think people usually say in your gut, but I'll accept in your bones. But trust me, it's probably just your nerves. Now, we're gonna have an amazing night tonight, okay? And if for whatever reason you don't have fun, I'll... Hmm... I'll buy you lunch for the next three weeks. How does that sound? Well, the way to my heart is through my stomach, so you got me there. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> Good. Emily? Zoe? Hmm? Yeah, Mom? There is a Mr. Archie outside waiting for both of you. <gasps> Sweet! Come on! Up, 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 up. I want you two back home before 10, okay? No later. Is that understood? 100%. We won't be late. Love you, Mom. Bye! Oh, uh, uh bye, Auntie Kathy. We won't be late. <laughs> Have fun and be careful, okay? There's some crazy people out in the world. <sighs> so, you all ready to go? Uh, yeah. Where's Archie, though? I don't know, actually. Boom! Ah! Oh, my dog. Hey, Archie. Hello, you lovely ladies. Who's ready for a night of terror? Uh, I think it's already started, thanks to you, Archie. What? I had to kick off the festivities a little early. I mean, I can't leave all the fun to the ghost house, now can I? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, do you guys know how to get there? Oh yeah, it's pretty close to here, actually. It's within walking distance. Great, so, should we get started? Oh, yes, please. The sooner this is over, the better. <laughs> okay... Hey, is everything okay with Emily? Oh, yeah. She's just a little freaked out about the whole ghost house thing. She'll be fine, though. Well, I hope looking after her won't take up too much of your time. That means there won't be any left for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool it, you. Come on. <sighs> she knows how to play with my emotions. Okay, yeah, this place is definitely haunted. 
It's not really haunted. Come on. Hey, how about you guys wait at the front and I'll go line up for the tickets. Hopefully there's not a lot of people in front of us. <sighs> Hopefully you all reconsider. <sighs> oh my dog. Thank you. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Spooktacular Scare House. How can I help you? Uh, hi. I'd like a ticket for three, please. Alrighty, that costs you about $30. And we have one major role before you go in. Please do not touch any of the exhibitions you see inside. These are sacred relics to the people of the land, and we do not want them to get damaged. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. We won't touch anything. Alright, this will get you one admission to the ghost house for the three of you. Have fun! Okay, thanks. Oh, good, you're here. We don't know how to open this thing. Um, open sesame? Hmm... Um, I think I figured it out, guys. <laughs> hey, nice job. See? Good going, Em. You're going to be a natural at this place. So, uh, where should we go first? I have no idea. There may be more stuff down here, but there's a staircase right next to me. Um, I'll go first. I just want to get this place over with. Ah! Oh my dog! My heart! Okay, yeah, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> you need to calm down. See, it's just like a cheap little jump scare. The hands don't even go anywhere. See? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Okay, no thank you. The doors are closing. Creepy little hands are coming out of the floor. I am going upstairs and getting this over with. <sighs> Archie is scared of a little clown. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Come here, you. <laughs> Ugh, I haven't got time to wait around for this. Ugh, great. Dirt on my feet. And a spooky cabin in the woods theme. Just what I needed. Just want this stupid house to be over. Hmm. hmm, maybe there might be a way to spook Zoe and Archie. <laughs> oh. Maybe if I just move the skull, I could open the coffin, get inside. <sighs> the perfect scare. Oops. Oh, well, I guess I better move the candles anyway. Um... Okay, I'll just- I'll just put it there. Huh? Uh, whoa. M must have just set off another trap. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> huh? Is this some kind of trick? No, no! Oh, <laughs> sounds like someone's getting the most of their ghost adventure upstairs. Yeah, wow. We better go check on her. I don't want her to have fainted or something. My mom would kill me. <laughs> Come on. Hey, anything? I can't see anything. There's not really any traps in here from what I can see. It's kind of an odd room. Maybe she went backstairs and we missed her. Come on. Hmm. Whoa, uh, Emily? Are you okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> Emily, oh my dog, your eyes. <laughs> Zoe, get back up here. Oh my dog, this boy. Uh, are you okay? Just talk to me. Help me. Hey, okay, I'm gonna help you, okay? <laughs> um, Emily? <sighs> You're really making me walk all the way back up here again, aren't you, Archie? Um, Archie? <gasps> oh my dog, Archie! Archie, no! Archie, please, no! <sighs> huh? Help me! Emily, oh my dog, what happened to you? You're not Emily. <laughs> Emily's gone. She shouldn't have messed with things that weren't hers. And now you'll disappear too. No! <laughs> Wait, where am I? Maybe, maybe I took a wrong turn? Huh? A mirror? What? Why? Why didn't you help me, Zoe? What did I do wrong? Please help me. Where are you? You left me to die, Zoe. You left me, and I'm dead because of you. It's all your fault. It is all your fault. No, no, no it, it wasn't my fault. Huh? <sighs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my dog, oh my dog. Uh, 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 sir, sir, please help. You're all right, love. The ghost house scare you a little too much. <laughs> there's, there's something in there. It, it's evil, please, you have to believe me. Ma'am, there's a lot of things in there that are evil. It's all part of the experience, ain't it? You're not listening to me. My boyfriend is hanging from your goddamn roof. <laughs> what? Something in there killed him, and it took my cousin, and I don't know what's happening. I just, I need help, please. Look, maybe they're just playing a little joke on you. I'd wait a couple minutes, see if they come on out, all right? You know what? Screw you. I'm gonna go find a telephone box, call the police. This place needs to be shut down. <sighs> all right, love, you do that. Oh, some people take this thing a bit too scary, eh? And I did call the police, but by the time they got there, it was too late. Archie's body was gone, and there was no sign of Emily. Years passed, and we still never found her. The police just eventually stopped looking. I, of course, explained to them over and over again what I saw, but they never, ever believed me. Whoa. A lot of pets say I was hallucinating, or maybe it was just the lighting effects in the haunted house playing a trick on me, but I know what I saw. And, well, I never stopped looking for her. That was until recently. Age is catching up on me and I can't go exploring like I used to. And to be honest, I kind of want to be found by the skinwalker. I've lived a good life and hopefully it has enough decency to answer any questions I have. Wow, Granny, you're really brave for going through all of this. Honestly, I, I'm so sorry for all the losses you've had. And I hope the skinwalker doesn't find you. You should be able to live out your days in peace, you know? Oh, well, you're sweet, Lily. Thank you. I, um, I have to go to the bathroom. 
I'll be back in a second. Okay, don't be too long. Hmm? Oh, that might be Mackenzie's mother. Do you mind getting the door, Lily? Oh, not at all. Huh? Oh, Lily, what are you doing here? This has to be a joke, right? You, like, snuck out your back door or something, <laughs> right? Lily, I don't know what you're talking about. You know I catch the bus home every day. It was running late today because of the storms. Now, do you mind answering what you're doing in my house? Oh, my dog. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Just had to freshen up a little. Huh? Whoa. This is a joke, right? Lily? I... Uh... 